What's going on guys? Jay Hoy back with you today. Welcome back to some Call of Duty Modern Warfare. And yes, I still don't like this game, but we got a decent gameplay for you in the background. And today, it is time to go over some of the CDL, the Call of Duty League rosters, kind of some power rankings early on. And uh, just kind of go over everything we know so far. I'm not going to go into like rules or format or anything. Uh, just kind of how the teams and everything look on paper. So I just want to go through the teams first off. Then we'll get right into some power rankings. Uh, so first we start off with the, Ed or I guess Atlanta phase. Uh, being a BZ, Simp, Celium, Major Maniac, and Priesta. Um, pretty good team overall. Uh, then we got our second team in the Chicago Huntsman. Uh, we got Scump, Formal, Arcides, Gunless, and Envoy. Then we have the Dallas Empire, who is Clayster, Crim6, Hook, Shotzi, Illy, with substitutes Tommy and Mutex. Over on the Florida Mutineers side, this is all rumored. These are some names uh, that I've kind of heard, you know, uh, to be in talks or whatever. There's nothing confirmed about any of these players. Uh, but Havoc, Frosty, uh, John has been rumored to be banned. I'm not exactly sure what's going on with him. Uh, but he's a name I, I saw floating around there. Then also Pristini, uh, Skies, and Mox. Uh, just some names, like I said, that I've kind of seen recently. And uh, again, nothing really rumored there. But obviously we don't know what their team is. So I can't really give you a, a accurate uh, you know, kind of assessment there. Uh, but then we move on to London Royal Ravens, where that's Scraps, Wuskin, Dylan, Jurd, and Raided, uh, with substitute Shawnee and Mad Cat. Uh, then we have Los Angeles Gorillas, where we have Aches, Aqua, Decimate, Saints, and Lacefield. We have the Minnesota Roker, Rocker, Roker, I don't really know exactly how to pronounce it, but something like that, uh, where it's Assault, GodRx, Silly, Alex and Asim uh, with Exceed and Tiny as substitutes. Uh, then we have New York, the Subliners. We got Zuma, Temp, Accuracy, Zero, Attach, and Temp, uh, along with uh, their only substitute so far, Sensor. Uh, then we move on to Ogler, Optic Gaming LA, where we have TJ Haley, Dashi, Kenny, Slasher, and JCap. Uh, then we got Paris Legion, who is Luca, Shox, Dens, Kismet, Phantoms, with substitutes Zed and Breezy. I think it's actually Brezzy uh, as substitutes there. Uh, the Seattle Surge, we got Karma, Enable, Octane, Slacked, and Apathy. And then our last team, but certainly not least, we have the Toronto Ultra with Looney, Methods, Brack, Lucky, Metals, Kleenex, Classic, Cami, Bance, and Mayhem. You guys get all that? No? Okay. I'll, I'll uh, link the uh, the link that I got everything down below. Not exactly the rumored rosters, but uh, the confirmed ones for sure. So, although I did go through that pretty quickly, I wanted to go through it, you know, as kind of a uh, power ranking. So, I, let's just say I've really only been watching the Chicago Huntsman. Uh, then a little bit of the Dallas Empire, and um, that's pretty much it. I can't really say as I've watched anyone else so far. Uh, but just kind of what I've been seeing, there was someone on Reddit that also was keeping track uh, as far as how scrims were going, as far as their overall records and, and map count and everything like that. Uh, so I didn't remember to uh, to screenshot it where it was, but it ended up getting taken down or the person took it down or uh, whatever the case. So kind of overall power ranking so far, uh, as for how the teams look on paper, uh, as well as the limited bit of scrims uh, I have watched. I would have to put the Chicago Huntsman first. Um, they have been winning pretty much everything uh, as far as scrims go. And not really in super dominating fashion, but they've just been kind of, you know, getting the edge out in there. Uh, so they'd be first on my list. Second would be the Dallas Empire. Now, yes, I'm, or I should say, I'm not just saying this because these are the only two teams I've watched. Uh, but they have seemed to, you know, prove that they can be a top team. And, uh, with a leadership like uh, Clayster and uh, Crim6, uh, you know they'd get those young guys in line and and kind of learn from kind of the best player, you know, two of the best players to ever live. Uh, probably top five, I'd probably put for both of them. Uh, maybe top ten for both. But uh, then we have the New York Subliners, and 
this team is really interesting because you have a lot of uh, familiar faces as far as the uh, the old FaZe Clan organization, you know, was concerned. And uh, they, I mean, they've kind of been rumored to be, you know, one of the better teams. And, you know, going into it on paper, they're actually pretty good. Um, Sensor, I don't understand why you'd ever pick him up. I mean, only for his fan base, basically. Uh, but they've seen been playing pretty well. I know they've been playing uh, Chicago and Dallas pretty tough themselves. Uh, then this team, I actually have not seen anything from. The London Royal Ravens on paper. This is, like, my only kind of thing is on paper, this team should be one of the best teams in the game. And that's why I put them at number five because I feel like they are a top team. We just haven't really seen anything from them just yet. Uh, but, I mean, this has all of the best, like, European players, um, maybe with the exception of Alex, uh, who is on Minnesota. But London, you got Scraps, Wuskin, the brother duo there. Uh, you got Dylan, Jerd, Rated, you know, three other very good players uh, to kind of round out this roster with good uh, substitutes and everything. Um, like I said, if this team works out how it should on paper, this will be definitely a, a dominant team going forward. Uh, then I have Seattle. Now you may be kind of surprised by you know me putting it down or them down that low, and um, you know I was watching a video with uh, Lando who does a lot of stuff for uh, UMG Gaming. He does a thing called the Dispatch or the Esports Dispatch, whatever the heck it's called, and uh, he kind of had the same thought I did. And I actually you know was kind of thinking of making this video before I uh, watching that video, uh, but I watched it first just to kind of see what uh, someone else's take was on this roster, and uh, he kind of said. This is a very interesting team, obviously. You have one superstar, basically, in Octane. But then after that, who do you have? Right? If Octane has a slow game, which, you know, doesn't really happen, but if he were to have a slow game, who's going to step up there? And obviously, I love some of the players on this team. You know, Karma, obviously, for, you know, the history there with Optic and the, and the Dynasty and everything. Uh, but yeah, he's not really in that Slayer role really anymore. He's more of that Dirty Work type player. Uh, that rotate early, get in the hard point, get in the hill, plant the bomb type role. Uh, Enable was kind of the same thing on 100 Thieves last year. That Dirty Work type guy. Uh, Octane, obviously we already went over. Slacked, kind of the same guy. Does the Dirty Work. Not always at the top of the leaderboard, but gets all of that Dirty Work done. That's, you know, the stuff that does nobody else wants to do. And uh, Apathy. Although... Um, he used to be considered one of the best subs of all time. He hasn't really been that dominant as of recently. So, like I said, after Octane, who's going to be that number one guy? And uh, Or I should say, who would be that number two guy? Because if Octane's number one, you got to have number two there. Uh, but just I just don't see this team really working out how they want it to. Uh, maybe they get a young guy eventually here. And, uh, you know, they somehow work their way into that starting lineup and probably replace someone like Apathy or Enable or somebody. Uh, but I just don't see Seattle really doing too much there. Uh, and then I'll kind of make it quick for the rest of these guys. Ogla, from what I've saw, they haven't really done that great. Uh, you know, Dashi and TJ have been rumored to be leaving. Uh, I don't know how accurate that is, but they've been rumored to leave. And then uh, this team, I just don't know what's going on with them. They just haven't really looked that great. Uh, the Toronto Ultra... I'd like to give an accurate kind of um, assessment of these guys, but what the heck's the roster? Like, what's their starting roster? You have 10 people on this team. 10 of them. Now, I could probably pick three of them, being Looney, Methods, Brack. But then after that, I got no idea. I mean, you could have a trial period where um, you could bring, like, Bance and Classic or... You know, you could put a lot of these guys in there, and they might produce pretty much the same. So, one, I don't know what the roster is, but two, I don't really have seen the people play them. So, I don't really know what to tell you. Then we got the LA Gorillas. Uh, these guys have not looked good. Plus, uh, everyone else on paper definitely looks better uh, than these guys. The Minnesota Roker, same thing. These guys hyped it all up, and um, they just don't really have any good players there. I mean, they got some young talent there, but... I just really don't see them doing too much. Uh, the Paris Legion, uh, again, um, very strange team. I just don't see these guys doing anything, uh, anything crazy. They'll definitely be in the bottom four probably pretty much all year long. Uh, and then we have Florida, which obviously we don't know what their roster is, so we kind of have to put them at the bottom. But I think that's where I'm going to end it. Uh, you know, it's... Uh, you know, just kind of unofficial power rankings going forward. Obviously, we got, uh, you know, 11 confirmed teams. 
and uh, I should say 10 confirmed teams with one rumored team and one team that we don't know who, who the starters are, uh, plus all the substitutes and uh, coaches and everything still have to be announced for some of these teams, you know, wrapping everything up. So that's where I will leave you guys for today. If you did enjoy, hit the like button down below. Comment what you guys tell me. Comment. Comment. Comment below to what you guys think is going to be, you know, the, just say top five teams this year in the CDL. Uh, obviously, you guys know mine. To recap, Chicago, Dallas, New York, Atlanta, and London. Um, but let me know what you guys think down in that comment section below. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And as always, guys. We'll see you next time.